No, like with all the deck building requirement cards. So like every card that has a special deck building requirement, let's put them all into the jank bot deck. That's kind of cool. So what are what are the deck cards that have special deck building requirements? We have jank bot. Oh yeah, look at that. It does actually say deck building on it, doesn't it? All right, so we've got one, two, three, four of them. Let's make sure we just get all of them in here. This one will be... I might skip out on Servant here because this one is... It's basically free. I don't know. I want to splash a fourth color and play Uzu. Wait, what's the requirement? You said you'd play all the deck building. It's... Your deck only contains 20 different card names among non-resources, and we're definitely going to do that. So I might, I might skimp on that. Let's just do Jankbot, Yetis, and Crusaders. Just to keep the resources functional without playing... Without playing too terrible. Without playing Uzu, I want a champion power that works. Cheated, Cheated yep. Alright, so... Let's start by filling in the requirements here. Let's start by filling in underworld troops that we like. What are playable underworld troops in these colors? We just want to be a necrotic deck at our base. That probably helps smooth out our resources. We can play for the four necrotic shards. <coughs> it's like play Eye of Lixel and Duskwing Shepherd. And what are other good necrotics? PK. What? PK is not a necrotic. Oh, I thought you were like Nope. He's neutral. The really powerful cards like Angel of Dawn and Vampire King are all neutral. Uh, Runir is underworld, but I don't think we're going to be in wild. How many necrotics do I need in a 150 card deck to play the necrotic shard? Questions, questions I have to ask myself. You eat that entire banana, kid. It's all gone. Oh man, the classic matriarch of the flames three shard deck. That seems like something that that I would I would play. We definitely want infinite tricks in here, right? Yeah, that card's, that card's so good. Did I miss Lixel herself? I must have missed Lixel. Where is she? She's, is she not Underworld? No, she's Underworld. Yeah, see, there she is. The Deathless, yeah, the Deathless Madam. Forgotten Monarch. Yep, that's another one. Let's get let's get the easy one taken care of here. Let's get let's get Baby Yeti in here, just so, just so we've crossed. Oh no, nope, wait, that's the strictly wrong one. Uh, never not the pumpkin baby. <laughs> I don't know if this is a Lixel deck. I'm looking at it. I'm not 100% sure I want to go all in on all of the thresholds. I'm not sure it's worth messing up the somewhat, some amount of consistency that we would have for that. Unsure. So this is one, two, three... For five necrotic, five underworld troops, and one, two, three, four, that's 20, 20 necrotics. I probably want about 30 necrotics to play the gem. Hmm. Where 
other necrotics. The end of your turn. Put this into play. That's medium. I don't have anything we can abuse with this, right? I don't think so. Midnight Paladin might be okay. Maybe I'm just supposed to be all five thresholds. I'll just play Uzu to play Uzu. Then we can play Midnight Spiritualist too. All right, sure. Let's just go all five and we'll play Uzu. All right. And then we can splash in the other one that we wanted to anyways, and then we'll actually have all the deck building requirement cards. Deck building. Look at that chaos touched. Get him in there. I guess I can play landing pause site then as well. I love me a good landing pause site. All right, so 60 cards. Uh, how many resources do I want in this bad boy? So we need 150 times 0.42 or so. So we need about 63 resources. So we need to fill up 87 cards in here. So we've got a few more slots to fill. I've met my underworld requirement, right? We met my underworld requirement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I haven't met the underworld requirement yet. Holy crap. Oh. Is there another powerful necrotic that I am forgetting here? We could play Lapidaria. I don't hate that card. Gemborn Prowler is a fine. I don't think Gemborn Prowler is particularly well positioned in the format right now, but like playing one of them, the 150 card deck is probably okay. Mistress of the Bones is a Necrotic. I don't think we're going to have too many dwarves and other stuff, though. Yep. Yeah, I do all my, all my streaming and gaming on on Linux through Wine, or in some native applications, obviously, but there's a, there's an AppDB page on uh, appdb.winehq.org that uh, lists the couple of steps. So... I'm going to grab the Lapidary in here, because it's like pseudo-removal. Let's do that for now. And put the Flight Gem on this bad boy. Uh, nope. Uh, the actual AZ2 itself, you need to upgrade to, uh, the RC2 release candidate, or Wine 1.9 at least. Uh, with Wine 1.8 snapshot and 1.6, the second AZ wasn't working, but it works fine with the, the later Wine versions. Alright, so now let's get some Ardent Troops in here. I lose part of the UI when Hex loses focus. Uh, I I just I'm running it in a virtual desktop and it seems to work fine. I'm using uh, an enlightenment based desktop though. So what do we want to? Let's look here for what are good, sweet, ardent, ardent troops that we can put in here. Valiant Escort, definitely playable. A lot of these are just going to be fun ofs because we don't have rooms to put four of them like we did for all the necrotics here. So Valiant Escort, Ancestors Chosen, Protectorate Defender. Are there any fun gems we can put on you? Hmm. Maybe on him. Frost Wizard's a fine fun of hate card. Uh... 
Willie boy. I love me some. Let's put a full set of William Rowans in here. This card, this card's super powerful when it goes to work. So if you're ever familiar with William Rowan, he comes into play. He creates a card called Rowan, which is a 5 5 for 3, and puts it into your deck. And every time he attacks, he moves it up higher in your deck. And if it's towards the top of your deck, I guess, I guess this is actually pretty bad in our 150 card deck, but we're going to do it anyways, because YOLO. Yeah, we have all of the deck building requirement cards in here. We've got we've got Servant of Shatak, Ardent Crusader, Underworld Crusader, Jankbot, and of course the Mama Yeti. Oh, definitely, definitely one of this guy. This guy right here, the old when he deals damage to your opponent. Let's get a let's get a speed guy in here. And put one of these in here. What deck building requirements have we not met yet? Arden Crusader still needs some more. Uh, a Jag seems fine. Oh god, Jags into Midnight Paladin seems. How do the kids say? Lit AF? What other goodies do we have? Hey, Tismek. Hey, don't you don't you doubt my resource base building skills? We're gonna put a whole bunch of infusion devices in here, Ace. You you don't you worry. Oh, yeah. Never not Royal Valkyr. Sweet. All right, so we've met our deck building requirements for everything. Let's put some sockets in these. What do I want in my Ardent Crusaders? I think I'm just going to make these plus... Defense by default, so they're like croc immune. And on this, I'm gonna put speed in so we can curve like this into Mama Yeti, you know, for that perfect underworld crusader Mama Yeti curve we're gonna have every game. Cosmic Shaman. Oh, geez. Yeah, we should definitely have a Cosmic Shaman or two in here. How could I forget about old Cosmic Shaman? Forgotten Monarch's probably not that good in this deck. Let's trim some of those. Maybe I don't want him at all. Well, I need the necrotic count, so let's put some. Let's get some double damage in here. Maybe double damage in Valor? Yeah, that sounds hot. Just all the Valors, just all the abilities that stack. Alright, in fusion device. They still have filters on. Let's reset all these filters. Ma. So, we would like some adaptable infusion devices here. I probably want some immortal tears. Some sweet, sweet immortal tears. Uh, arrow keys on the keyboard. Switch between the copies of the card. I'm gonna mute my mic here for a second while I take some bites of my delicious Chipotle. So normally, Hextex, 
only have a hundred, only have sixty cards in them. But Jankbot says you have to have one hundred and fifty cards in your deck in order to play this. So we're gonna have one hundred and fifty cards in this deck. And Jankbot's a sick. He's a five six for four. Then when he attacks, you play three randomly revealed cards from your deck. Very very powerful. Empty Socket and Forgotten Monarch. Let's check this out. What do we want in him? Oh, I've already used all the good gems. I don't even know what I want this guy to do. Do I need this guy? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put in a... What am I going to put in instead of him? It's a... Uh, striker? Subtle Striker? Do I still have other filters on here? Yeah, Oakless, have any questions? Feel free to ask. Oh, I have the under. No? Did I already put him in? What's the. What's the card I'm thinking of? It's a two cost blood troop. I'm blanking on his name. He turns off champion powers. He's an underworld. Search champions can't use charge powers. Mm. Do I already have it? It's not in my deck already. What the heck? What are you doing, Hex? Under filters, check show all cards. That way it'll show you where is... I know I own them. Or I thought I owned them. Show all items. I, weird. There, I, I have them. Strange. Okay, whatever. There, there's the subtle striker. Two deported, two champions can't use, can't use charges. Professor Yada, with the nine month resubs. Welcome back. Thank you for the continued support. Glad to have you around again. Ah, all right. So, Frost ring is clicked by default. I don't... S oh. Oh, that's why the equipment showed... I must have bumped that. I'm an idiot. Okay, sure. Th thank you for sorting me out. I'm, I'm dumb. I didn't realize what I had bumped up there. Where's Uzu in here? There she is. 
No, we're gonna get destroyed by real people in in PvP with this deck. All right, where's the necrotic shard? A necrotic grip dust. And then I can only assume I just want all of the dual shards in here. Like that that has to be correct, right? Just put every slow shard in here, just like always play a turn behind. Is that is that allowed? And that might be a bad idea. Actually, I guess I really so I don't need I don't need the wild ones, probably. The ones wild, wild is the splash, the, the, the splash color. So maybe let's play all of the shards except for the ones that have wild in them. And then same thing for the wells, let's play the wells that don't involve wild. Okay, so, and then we probably want to hedge and diamond a little bit out of all these. I probably want four primal prisms in here. And this is the part where we actually have to count and figure out how many of each resource that I have here. I don't think there's any of those checks down here, right? Yeah, so we look at the resource base here and, like, let's count the number of diamonds we have. We have one, five... Nine and eight of those for some reason. Uh, where did those go? So one, five, nine, thirteen, seventeen, twenty one. 25, and then these are 8 more. So it's 33. I probably want one more diamond shard in here, so I have two of those to search for. You'd want a spare of each basic. I don't think we need a spare of each basic, because um, the only thing we need double of... I want to spare diamond for sure, but the only thing we need double of is diamond. I mean... There's only 12 wells. Like, if you think about it, we often, we play 4 wells in a 60 card deck. So playing 12 wells in a 150 card deck is a lot like playing um, 4 wells. It's like playing 5 or 6 wells in a 60 card deck, which isn't that risky really. And when you have to have counted to like these wells alongside Immortal Tears and Adeptal Infusion Devices can, can do stuff as well. Are we playing Shard Call? I don't think we need to play Shard Call. I think I'd rather play Tears. I think Tears is better in a deck like this than Shard Call is. Then, so we can look at our breakdown here. You can see we're base, the numbers are a little bit small on screen. We're base diamond, we're 42% diamond, and then pretty split, sapphire, blood, and ruby. So I think I'm just going to sprinkle in standard resources for the rest of these here. Probably go one, two, three more root. Uh, diamonds and then one blood, one ruby, one sapphire. Seems fine at a glance. And then as far as sideboarding in a deck like this goes or reserving, oh we need 150 cards, right? So we're still we're still short. I guess I should count and make sure the number of shards we have is reasonable. So we've got 12, 16, 20. Oh, I should be able to have a, a count over here, right? Resources, we have 56 resources, so we need like seven, we need like seven more. So, we I think we want the one wild shard just because we have infusion devices and, um, and Lixel the Deathless gem here and Immortal Tears. Occasionally, occasionally we're going to want to go get those. A couple shards of fate might actually be okay. Like, how many slow shards do we actually have? We probably we might want to trim some slow shards, actually. We've got one, two, three, four, f we got two, three, four, 
It's like 7 slows 28 slow shards. 28 divided by uh, 2.5. So this deck is 2.5 times the size of a normal deck. That's like 11. 11. That's like having 11 slow shards in a normal size deck. So if we do. Normally I'd want like 6 slow shards max. So really I want like 16. I'm going to queue into you with Angus. Thanks, Ace. Maybe I'm trimming some of these things. I want all of the diamond duels, I think. And I'm going to cut these non-diamond ones. I'm going to add four shards of fate. The old four shards of fate for Primal Prism special. And then we're at 48 resources right now. So, hmm. You want to just like sprinkle in more of the rest of these at an even, nice even ratio, I think. So 48, we want 15 more resources approximately. So that can be a uh, 9, 2, 2, 2. That seems fine. Two, one, two, one, two. I mean, this deck is playing all the best cards in the format, so really, I'll be I'll be surprised if we lose two. Really. Um, what what do we want for some? We probably just want like a smattering, smattering of removal for these last three cards. Some bring to justice, maybe. All right, now as far as the reserves go, start with these because of the before mentioned, because of the before mentioned issues with aggro gain, gain health. I'm going to be realistic about what our issues are going to be here. Gossamer tears. Yep, let's put some of those in here too. All right, that's our that's our plan. A couple of Dingler sounds fine. It's a mass poly. Oh, mass poly Dingler as the main deck. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? You, you don't want a card like Extinction because you don't want Jankbot to cast it accidentally. So I think three Mass Poly Dinglers at the top end sounds great. Uh, let's put a couple spot removal here in the board. All right. Now that our Masterpiece is done, I'm going to go ahead and make it public on my TCG browser page here real quick. And then, and then we can begin the battles. I'm willing to lose... Hmm, how many matches am I willing to lose with this? Let's say four. Let's lose four matches with it, and then we will then we will do something for real. <laughs> 